Now, as our best friends age, their dietary needs also change, and with the right nutrition, we can have our dogs live a longer and healthier life. Now, to explain more, Peter Sheasel joins me with Buster. It's lovely to have you back in the studio. Thanks for having us, Mel. So why should we be worrying about our pets, uh, our older pets out there? Well, we're seeing a general ageing population of pets these days. So also because we're becoming better pet owners, our dogs are living for longer, but we also have a better understanding of their life stages. So from puppyhood right through to mm. senior dogs, we sort of, they've got different requirements. We're seeing um, more research into our senior dogs now as well. So we have a much better understanding. So how do you define a you senior going? dog? Hey, Buster. Hey, Buster. Come By escaping Buster. dogs. Right. Like, I've seen something over there I really want to go to. Yeah, um, so how do you define food. a senior dog? So it completely depends on their, on their breed and things. So a smaller dog will generally have a much longer life expectancy to, say, your larger breed dog. So for a small breed dog and a medium breed dog, you're looking about seven years old to become a senior dog, whereas for your larger breed dog, it's more from six and going on to even five years old. <laughs> However, age is just a number, so it is um, some dogs sort of show their age earlier than others, whereas others act young until much later. How old is Buster? He's eight now. Okay, <laughs> and he acts like a little puppy still. He's like, I want to get over there. Um, well, that's interesting, <laughs> just like humans, really. We all say that age is just a number, don't we? So Absolutely. if being a senior is quite individual, then what do you need to be looking for? What sort of signs do you need to be looking for in your own dog? Yeah, sure. So um, as they're ageing, you'll see they may have a much more dull coat is, is one of the things. You want to come up here? There you go. I just want to be the star. Yeah, that's exactly it. Uh, so their coat may be dull, but also uh, their behavioural changes may happen. So they yeah. might sleep a little more. Um, and their mobility is another big thing. Getting in and out of the car is one of the major things. Yeah, yeah. sounds like humans, actually. Well, yeah, that's, sounds that's very not true. Not similar to me and sometimes. Getting out of bed in the morning, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how does the pet food world deal with older dogs? One of the big things is that your senior dog will need less fat than uh, their younger counterparts, but more protein is a big one. Mm -hmm. Um, dental health is a really huge one with our senior pets, so we need the, the softer kibble, slightly puffed kibble we have for our pets, and um, a sort of 3D dental defence which really covers all bases and uh, helps with their teeth as they age. Okay, yeah. good to know. He is now behaving like a beautiful little man, isn't he, <laughs> Buster? So how about canned foods versus like the dry kibble? Which, which is actually best? That's a really good question, actually, because you have to think about their hydration levels, especially at this age. Um, so it's sort of, a, it's a balancing act, but um, the wet food can really help these, these older dogs and add that extra hydration to their diet. Okay, so you should, you could be mixing them up. You can, but you've got to weigh up the pros and cons. So a kibble is going to be much better for their teeth than a than a wet food. Yeah. But um, the wet food is also good for their hydration levels. Okay, well, good to know. So what are your key messages then to those sitting at home with an older dog beside them right now? Like us. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, mainly that nutrition does play a really important role in keeping our dogs healthy and happy, especially these senior dogs that need that extra extra helping hand. Yeah, well, if he's eight years old, Buster is defying it all, isn't he? Because he just looks <laughs> like a glossy. I would have put him at about three or four. He's just like a little puppy. Oh, he's young at heart. He really is, <laughs> aren't we all? That's aren't we all? True. Hey, well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, uh, Great information, as always, Peter. Now, if you are at home and you're wondering if you should try your dog on Yukonuba, don't forget, there is a 100% money back guarantee and you can Uber are also giving away to our cafe viewers a $20 voucher off your next purchase of you can Uber dry food to download the voucher go to www.youcanuber.co.nz slash the cafe